सत्यमूर्ति रामानुजन स्पीच टाइटल बुक द स्टोरी बुक द स्टोरी सत्यमूर्ति रामानुजन इट वाज लव एट फर्स्ट साइड आई वाज जस्ट 80 इयर्स ओल्ड एंड व्हेन आई सॉ हर immediately i fell in love with her reason she was inviting she was lying there speaking my attention what is that was it love at first sight for you with kapil kumar <laughs> jokes apart i was there in the office of my boss Mr. Patman, I was a chartered accountant. I was about to enter my CA articleship training. He had invited me for a meeting, and as we were busy, when I went to the office, he told me to wait. And I sat in a chair. I looked around. My boss was a very famous reader. He had a bookshelf. A lot of books in his shelf. And there was one book that was on the table, and that book was my love at first sight. If we are imagining about the date, please erase that part. I was still a young boy who was interested in studies. I picked up that book, started reading. There was some incredible incidents. Mentioned in that book, a bullet which was shot that found its mark 20 years later accidentally. The person who regularly takes a bus misses that bus and takes a wrong bus and it goes to a new destination. He realizes that gets down and then realizes that he is near a fixed place. And reaches there just to see there is a gas leak, and he breaks open the door to save his friend. Incredible incidents. As he was about to further read that book, my boss called me. We had a discussion, and then as he came out, the book was there in my mind. I went back and asked him, "Sir, can I borrow this book?" He said, "Sir, you can be a very good auditor." But I have found that the that bookkeepers, I will not lend you. Disappointed, I went back. But that book was in my mind all the time. So I went out and searched in various bookshops for that book. I couldn't get it. Years passed. I became a chartered accountant in '87, and I went to Delhi. It was the year 1990. One day, I was in for a meeting with a banker. So, seven years had passed in this whole period. This book was always in my mind. Then, whenever I go to a bookshop, I used to look for that book, ask for that book, and I never used to find it. On this incredible day, after the meeting, I was coming out. And I missed my book, so I went to the wrong street, and there I saw a bookshop, and I thought I have come into this place, so why not let me go and check? I parked my scooter and went into the bookshop. The bookshop had two floors, so I went to the counter, and my interest on that day. Was not to buy that book. I had just received a credit card. My favorite author was Jeffrey Archer, so I was trying to find Jeffrey Archer books were available. So I went to the counter and I asked that lady, "Where are Jeffrey Archer books?" She said, "All the books authors are arranged in alphabetical order. So if you go to the first floor, you will find Jeffrey Archer." So I walked from the counter. And there was a 
rotating steps in that uh, shop. <coughs> and there was a still kind of a bookshelf. As I was climbing the stairs, my shoulder touched that rotating bookshelf. And the shelf spun. And in front of my eyes, I see the book. I have been searching for daily samples. I didn't take one more step on. Incredible, isn't it? A book on incredible incidents. I am finding on a day when I was not searching for it, but it was present in that bookshop. I didn't take one more step. I took that book, went to the counter, paid for that, and bought that book. The book is with me, but the story doesn't end there. I went home, I started reading the book, enjoying each and every different incident that is mentioned in that book. If I tell that, I am disqualified for using more than 25 percent borrowed material. I will leave it to your imagination and for you to buy the book and enjoy it. But then, when I narrated this incident, one of my friends, he said he wants to borrow the book from me. I was the auditor, but I didn't realize other people can also be bad bookkeepers. So I lent the book. And my friend didn't return that book. After that, I went and searched for the book again in many shops. I couldn't find it. Many, many years later, in 2016, when I was going, I was thinking, can we check whether this book is available online? So I went to Amazon and searched for this book. The book was out of print. Only one used copy was available and the price was very high. So I stopped, I didn't buy it. Few months later, once again I went to Amazon and searched. This time the copy was available. The price was Reasonable, $10 only. I immediately ordered from Arnold's, I got it into my house. And you won't believe it if I say, it was the very same book that my friend borrowed that I got it and I bought my own book. Friends, in life, there are various things we all pursue. If you are passionate enough about something, if you really, really, really desire something, Somehow you will get it. The book story proved that to me that if you are really interested in something, you will get it no matter what. But you need to desire it deeply inside you. And the book is also there, the book of incredible coincidences. I hope you enjoyed this book. Thank you. Over to you,